In this video, I'm gonna show you the importance of adding tension and drama in advertising. Tensions are like the wild west where it is lawless and the townspeople are hiding and need someone to come and save them. We need to understand why they are hiding and what the problem is. The tension acts as a motivator. Using this analogy, it's like someone stepping up as the sheriff to take on the task of helping the townspeople. So in this instance, the brand acts as the sheriff, the one that comes to help the townspeople by getting rid of the problem. If the strategist's job is to find the consumer problem, which is normally the tension point, then they use this tension to add drama through visual words, perspective, and or reframing in the creative brief so that the creatives can solve this problem. Tensions are emotive. They provide your campaign with a hook because they are not just topical, but resonate with your audience. This then becomes the motivator to drive your campaign forward. It's the creative's job to use the tension point to add drama to the situation or dramatize your brand's unique selling proposition to address your target audience's problem. The creative solution is then like a holstered gun, ready to be drawn and fired, leaving a thunderous crack, which causes the townspeople to erupt in joy. Let's use an example with Wrangler's Wranglers on My Booty to show how tension was used to drive this campaign forward. Lil Nas X is making some big waves in the music world. His hit song, Old Town Road. Billboard has pulled it from the country song chart. Saying it's not country enough. Was it country enough? That is not country music. Wrangler on my booty. Wrangler on my booty. Earlier this week, Wrangler Jeans announced a partnership with the rapper Lil Nas X. The partnership features shorts, jeans, and t-shirts. Look at these! WranglerOnMyBooty.com, everybody. Check it out. Jeans. Some people accuse the brand of ruining the cowboy name. Lil Nas X tweeting, y'all really boycotting Wrangler? Mad because a black man is wearing the same jeans as you. Shut the hell up. Wrangler is sticking to its gun saying they're backing their decision to partner with Lil Nas X. Wrangler on my booty. <laughs> <laughs> if you wear Wranglers, who gives a shit? Right. Wear the fucking pants that you want to wear. Bold move, but I think yeah, it, they pulled it off. These items are very much in demand. All this controversy doesn't seem to be hurting sales. A lot of it's already sold out. Let's review the case study. Looking at the case study, we see Wrangler's heritage is strongly rooted in cowboy culture. Cowboy culture has strong associations with a distinct Western style of apparel, country music, and a perception that only a select group can wear and be a part of what it represents. This old cultural stereotype is stamped into the audience's mind. The problem for Wrangler is that it has ring-fenced a niche target audience that is aging and is limited in size. To grow the business, it needs to take on a more modern and contemporary approach to appeal to a wider audience. At the heart of cowboy culture and what underpins it is the ethos of what it means to be a cowboy. American Cowboy Magazine says, every culture needs legends and heroes. The cowboy is the one of America's best. We see honor, hard work, strength and freedom in the cowboy. He contains the last vestiges of wildness allowed in the new millennium. And as much as our country changes, he remains the same. America needs the cowboy both to remind us of how far we have come and to bring us back to the simplicity of the values he represents. 
Wrangler needed to take these shared values and find a modern cowboy to loosen their lasso on their current audience so that they could rope in a new generation of customers. Little Nas X, a country rapper who was only just up and coming, had given a shout out to Wrangler in his lyrics, but his music had been stripped from the country music billboard charts and was generating a lot of tension around the genre with his contemporary take on country music. So what we see is a cultural tension and a tension with the category among our audience. These tension points become an opportunity for Wrangler to address these tensions amongst a new potential customer base. Little Nas X typified the type of modern cowboy that Wrangler needed to expand its audience base to by taking it into a new era and generating revenue growth while still remaining true to their cowboy ethos and values. How do you find and use tensions? We start with rope. We use rope as in R for research, find and identify, the O for opportunity, review and assess, P for position, define and use it, and then E, execution, brief and dramatize it. The process would typically start with the four C's research process. This process is used to understand what is happening in the culture and the category, what your customer behaviors and problems are, and what the brand's USP is to address these. If you're not familiar with the four C's process, check out my video on liquid death going through the four C's process. You then review each of these to understand the tension point, the open space or opportunity in these areas which the brand uses to help customers. Once identified, this gets placed into a benefit ladder to show how your brand ladders up to a higher meaning or purpose. Starting at the bottom ladder, which is the product features, moving up to the functional benefit, and then moving up and finishing with the emotional benefit. The emotional benefit is where we place the opportunity and the tension point we are looking to address. It is the emotive element about the brand that is used to rope people in. If you are not familiar with the benefit ladder, you can find more in the short section of my YouTube channel with the strategy exercise and ladder builders video. In conjunction with our four C's research and benefit ladder, we use this to help define the positioning and single-minded proposition. The single-minded proposition is the creative solution or action you want your customers to take. It solves the strategy and business problem using the brand's advantage. This is the key to briefing in your creative team. It is a strategic creative leap way forward that you take with the information you have and wider view of the category. Now we can brief it into the creative team. The creative brief is the perfect opportunity to bring forward the tension and customer problem and then dramatizing it with the single-minded proposition. You'll notice that the creative team always dramatizes a client's USP using the tension that surrounds it. If you're looking for an example of how you should brief in a creative team, you can check out my example for the creative brief example hinge campaign designed to be deleted. Let's look at some caveats and applications of tension. Now it's important to remember that there is a time and a place to address tensions with your audience. Tensions demand attention and the way you deliver that is through a comms plan. It addresses in the living stage when your audience is going about their everyday lives. If you're not familiar with the comms framework and the process, you can find my example showcasing Chase Ink Cards, The Ripple Effect. As mentioned earlier, the creative solution dramatizes the unique selling proposition through the brand's personality. They will address this in the living stage with the emotive creative. Applying emotions builds long-term memory and aids in creative effectiveness. The blow chart and study carried out by Thinkbox provides evidence of this using an SST brain scanning technique and analysis of 200 ads tested demonstrating that using creative techniques that evoked intense emotions more likely to be liked and enjoyed to trigger long-term memory encoding than price-led or purely informative ads. To add to this, Ehrenberg Bass Institute conducted a study exploring which emotions drive the most video sharing on Facebook. Videos that cause hilarity, inspiration, astonishment, or exhilaration are much more likely to be shared than others. But 
addressing tension doesn't have to be serious. As you can see, there are a range of strong emotive ways to address it, such as Geico, who addresses the pain when purchasing insurance through comedy, Lurpak, who addresses the tension around sustainability and waste by inspiring people about the wider benefits of cooking and moving from what to cook to why to cook. Popeyes, who addresses chicken sandwich lovers who can't get a chicken sandwich on a Sunday from their competitors through surprise. And then Burger King, who addresses the concerns about preservatives and other hidden ingredients through astonishment. Let's recap. Tensions are emotive and addressing them with a creative solution which dramatizes the unique selling proposition can be a strong motivator for your target audience to choose your brand. There is a time and place for addressing tensions, which is the living stage found in the comms plan. You get there with a rope, research, opportunity, position, and execution. You can learn more about the strategic process in the Strategy Finishing School, where I cover 15 years worth of experience in strategy at leading global advertising agencies. It currently covers 13 modules of strategy. You'll get lifetime access, and it also includes extra strategy resources, guest strategists who specialize in various areas of strategy, plus access to a private strategy community with 2,000 members who share advice and various strategy resources. Thanks to Matthew Osborne, a member of the Strategy Finishing School, for helping to pull this case study together. Let me know if you've got any questions or any recommendations for brands that you would like to see in the future.